Hello everybody, welcome to a possible of a little brand new series I thought I'd go ahead and bring to my channel as you can see as from the title so as, as I've actually loaded loaded up the game it's it's called Star Trek Online but well in in this series in this you've got quite a few factions you can choose from because it is free to play on Steam Starfleet Klingon Discovery Dominion TOS Starfleet Roman Republic but for this series I am Gamer Chris by the way welcome to episode one I'm going to be choosing TOS Starfleet because I'm going to try and do a little series of the ancients of yesterday this is the past of Star Trek online TOS Starfleet the Explanatory Scientific Domestic and Defense Agency of the United Federation of Planets Characterized in 2161 Starfleet as a mission To boldly go where no one has gone before A primary mandate includes the pursuit of peaceful exploration in the search of new life and new civilizations Starfleet Command is headquartered in the Sol System on the planet Earth. Start your journey as a new officer in your in the year 2270, facing a crisis that spans across time and space. So I do apologize if the music is a little loud. It's a little loud for me in my headset. So yeah, so I'm going to click on, I'm yeah, about to go next, it's a lot different, I'm going to be human, obviously, male, and I'm going to choose, I like the science part of it, me, but for this purpose, I'm probably going to choose tactical officer, as a tactical officer in Starfleet, you defend your ship and crew and take command of combat signals, self squad commands and damage boosts boosts are a few tools in your arsenal and you support your crew by drawing enemy fire or what fires oh, are the effectiveness of your away team with superior tactics. So just feel free to pause it and kind of read it if you if you want to. I'll just go and check it out on Steam. It is free to play. You don't have to spend a dime on this game. I didn't. Yeah. All right, now I'm just going to choose some of the hairstyles I want. We can always customize. I think later on just kind of just gonna create a character eye color of brown oh, that's white that's brown there you go I never know where all these brown colours are so just gonna do that one that body I'm gonna go with five eight I would say and I'm gonna go with standard brawl creature guff relaxed stern saga thoughtful and twitch it. I'm gonna go with thoughtful. I think that's the one I don't know. Yep, that's the one I normally go with. I'm 
a uniform. No. Yeah, these are all the dress uniforms you can have. So we'll get into that later on. I'm going to go next. I'm going to call Chapter's name. Game of Chris. And I'm going to name my ship Subsystems. As the game Subsystems. Why not? Yeah, why not? And I'm going to delve right into the agents of yesterday. And after I click Engage, it's going to come up with a tutorial. I've already done it, but I like to play it. So I'm going to, for the purpose of this series, I'm going to play the tutorial just so you get to know it, basically. Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. This is a really fun game. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. The trait system has been changed and any previously selected traits have been wiped. Click here to change your traits for free. Okay, so I've got to choose my traits. To move, use the W, A, S, and D keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. Uh, personal ground traits. Uh, I think peak help's going to be, I'm going to have So I've got peak health, training, and that's for the grenades. I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have the soldier, personal space. So I'm gonna tell you what the traits do, and makes enemies less likely to attack you of other target less likely so i have that one gonna have energy chip to hit you with their weapons gonna have that one the kind of tactical stuff and objective there you go and these are you unlock later pretty much stations reproduction that's our character looks like it's already there look so on a pc right well, there's my treat so we can treat and that's studio s in d keys to move around okay just f, f to interact with them lieutenant we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there i need to get boots on the ground find out what's going on take a landing party down to the surface assess the situation and look for survivors we'll be down right away sir Not so fast we can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference we'll need to take a shuttlecraft down use the sensors to locate a safe landing site sounds good to me sir Yeah, that's crouch. Yeah, that's it. Scan the surface. Interacting with the console is pretty cool. And then we can go report back to Captain Garrett. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. There's a good safe clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus too before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Aye, aye, sir. On my way. Your current tasks will be displayed here. It's pretty cool. For the, like, 23rd century, I think it is. 
Yeah. Right at the original, if you ever watched off it. Engineering deck. And we need to talk to Tarsi. Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Thanks, Tarsi. What do you know about Taurus 2? Let's see. M class planets, barely. The Taurians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Right, lead the way, Ensign. Your mini map shows you where your objectives are. And oh, there you go. Appear on the mini map if Interactable you are far away items from your have a around them. Walk up and press F to interact with the phaser to pick it up. Good job, Lieutenant. That should be enough, unless you want more practice. Come on. Right. That's fine. Objective is the minimap, which is pretty good. And we need to head to the shuttle bay. All collapsed on the floor. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game, this. I've actually watched a few YouTubers on this before I got it. One of them being Brent Justice, so I will try and put his link in the description where you can check out his channel. It, it gives you a lot of hints as well on how to play the game. Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Oh, why is that, Ensign? I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. you can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I do, but you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight will be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. I never doubted it for a second. Of course you're leaving. Or maybe you're not. Maybe good to... That's kind of weird. I go head to the shuttle. And I'm gonna board the shuttle. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Congratulations, you also level up in this game as well. It's kinda of cool that you've got like spot in, in the dialogue. Live longer and prosper, as he says. So this one's gonna be the tutorial. First couple of the Episode's going to be tutorial. We need to talk to Myers. Ugh. It's just as grim as I remember. Myers. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us. They are there. Waiting to attack. They are there. They very well could be. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sounds good. See you there. Remember, your mini map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from your objective. Okay. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Is that a warp in the cell? Oh, yes, it is. 
stay alert. Down the debris. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of our shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. I mean, my tricorder. I was the one what scanned it. Might be a crest fuel deal, but let's have a look. Yes, yes. I need to go in. Hold the weapon. There's your crashed shuttle. What's left of it, anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Let's give him a hand. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Agreed. Kind of nice that you get to see characters interact with the things. I have a tactical officer, not a medical. We, we, we need to move. Those things, they're out there. What things? Where? Anna likes this bit. Let's see. I speak to him. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared, got distracted, and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're lucky to be alive, Doctor. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Agreed. I'll get them. Lead the way. There you go. Completed. The we are following. It's a pretty cool game, so if you already checked it out, it's free to play after all, so it's definitely worth having a look. Am I glad to Dr. see you? Miller. We thought we were stranded here with those those monsters. We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Uh, just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thanks, we'll have a look. There are rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. A, a phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait. You, you want me to shoot to this? Weapons by pressing Z. Okay, that's okay. That's good. That's F. The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them some pointers. Works for me. Your weapon has an alternate fire mode. The effect of this mode varies by weapon. Activate secondary fire by pressing 2 or clicking the icon. I get it. That gives me a lot more control.
Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. There you go. That's all you have to do. They're right behind me. Heads up! The Torians are attacking. There you go. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back and in greater numbers. Agreed. You and Tossi guard the pass while I get the others into cover. Into the ship? But then we'll be trapped. Okay. So it's a really cool game, this. With pleasure. This is a real cool game. There has been quite a lot of updates to it. And there's actually events you can do as well. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Oh, it's a good one. Shut the doors. They're right behind us. Okay. Anybody in? Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe if there's enough charge left in the batteries. did it! Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Indeed so. What happened out there? The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Get the survivors to the shuttle, Tarsi, and Tarsi and I will rescue the hostages. I was thinking, we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Like thermal breadcrumbs. Uh, good thinking. Okay. Let's head out. So we've got the thermal crab crumbs. He's just guarding the entrance.
Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Can't <laughs> none on my watch. Let's move out. Let's get out of here. Fascinating. The Torians Pretty appear cool in the Stone Age state of development. Pretty cool now game. Isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. As you can see, there is a lot of dialogue from the characters, so which is always a welcome sign. A really cool game. It's really fun scenery. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are the Klingons doing on Taurus 2? Let's find out. Ready faces. Just in case they're not in the move for questions. Looks like they're not in the move for questions, Lieutenant. Enemies sometimes drop items. An item has dropped for you. Move toward the item and press F to loot it. Hey, is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. <laughs> sure, Klingons are good at fighting. But computers aren't exactly their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad unlocked and ready for your inspection. Nice work, Ensign. Let's have a look. Time, Time to hunt, hunt bigger, bigger game. Glory. Yeah, he's definitely looks different because I don't remember him looking like that when I first played the game on PlayStation and PC. He's got a beard now. Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. Yep. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Agreed. Let's go. Let's move out. Do more damage. Um. Oh, we got that stun setting. Let's get back to the shuttle before more of them show up. That's a stun setting. There you go. Make short work of that. I'm going to get back to the ship. I'm probably going to end, end the episode. It's, this has been the first part of the tutorial. I don't really want to record long videos like I've done in the past. I know it's a lot of time. To go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Turn to the ship. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Lift off. Heading back to the ship. Pretty cool. Our ship. There you go.
resolved mission brought by the horn. So guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Because I don't really want to record. This mission's kind of a bit long. So I'm going to leave it here. And we'll take, retake the ship hopefully when we come back next time. So guys, thank you all so much for watching and checking out my content lately. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you all in the next episode. And um, yeah, uh, whatever episode I put out there. See you later.